All good ideas start with the drawing on a napkin. At least that's how it's been for me. My water bike started like this and a few other ones have as well. Obviously you can see where my mind's been at the last few months. Making dreams reality. Um, I couldn't think of a better way to live my life. Essentially this is an idea that you know showed up on a napkin and this is something that I'm stoked about because essentially this is the biggest jump I've ever done. And that's pretty cool. Today's gonna be a pretty epic day. When the drawing came through, it was amazing. I'll give the 20 second version one more time. Hey Malcolm, <laughs> you think we Razor would be down to get me a parachute? Sure, parachute, what are we gonna do? Maybe send him into an arena? I don't know. Next thing you know, uh, a napkin comes through on a text. I sent it to her and I said, Robbie thinks this is a, a good idea to take a helicopter, put a ramp under it, and do a, a world record amount of flips and uh, stoke his kids out to show he could do it on a razor. Now we're here. We're trying to promote doing epic and awesome things for kids to see like if somebody can do that on a razor, maybe I can do what I didn't think was possible. I'm Matt McCall, owner of Trick Factory. We do all the ramp stuff for Matto's crazy ideas. This was a drawing that I got from him off a napkin that I thought his little kids drew. So I just pulled up here to Matt McCall, Trick Factory's house, um, looking at the ramp that's going onto the bottom of the crane. Damn, look at this, dude. Wow, this looks so sick. I'm kind of used to Matto's crazy drawings that he sends over of weird stunts from water bikes to all kinds of other things. So when he sent this one over, I was just kind of kind of giggled. And we started getting the kids chalk out and some stuff and drew it on the ground and said, okay, we got it. So today is a test day. Um, I've never actually hung it up yet. I should be able to get more than three flips is the goal. Oh. The jump spun me really quickly and we'll ask Matt to like cut the top three feet off the ramp. Just so like when I go down, you hit that part, but it doesn't bring me back around. I think, you know? I think it should just eject me out straighter. We weren't really familiar with the dynamics of when you're trying to do specific things like flips. And so they had thought about all these things like aerodynamics, wind, you know, how this thing was going to fly. So we had this wind coming out of the yeah. north, kind of the northwest. So, yeah. you know, it is kind of a big sail. So that's what made it push that, that angle. Yeah. But when we do the, the day of the stunt, a good wind sock, we'll just try to do everything right into it. That thing should fly really straight. I've never flown anything like this. This is the most wild contraption ever. Um, in addition to that, to lift something off the ground, six, seven thousand feet, I don't, I don't think that's ever been done before. Coming to a big stunt like this, it's always tough, you know, like the morning of, I'm taking on board like all the energy of everyone else and obviously my wife's really concerned, she's been freaking out about the safety, what if this, what if that. His work table, excuse me one second, yeah. his work table is full, yeah. okay? I, yeah. He is easily distracted, one second, as we all are easily distracted, I have been doing this for 20 years, he is not. Essentially, I'm just trying to keep my mind present. The goal for me is to just be able to pull this off, just keep my mind in the moment. I've already considered all the safety issues. If I focus on the what ifs, then I'm not focused on pulling it off the way I envision it. We're gonna be taking off in about 10, 15 minutes. Robbie has had to do probably about 50 training jumps in the last two weeks to prep for this day. I have decided to strap that giant boulder of a camera onto our helmet. I'll be climbing down the face of the ramp underneath the lip um, and that'll be kind of like my launch point. Oh, Robbie is going to drop in over the ramp and basically shoot over the top of me and hopefully that timing works out well. I feel confident in riding in that to 1500 feet. Okay, what do you think? Yes. What do you think? Yeah. I was super nervous this morning driving up here just because like looking at the family, like the kids understand it. They were teary eyed. But um, you can look at anything in life like that, you know, you can trip on like the negativities and what ifs and what ifs and like look at the other stuff I've done. It's like, I never think like that. I just like, I know what I want to do. I've pictured it mentally and I've got faith that it's going to happen. We've got a great team. I'm mindful of that. And so we're just waiting for the aircraft to refuel. And then it's go time, baby. Pretty nervous. 
close right now. It's super hard to say goodbye to someone. that I used to like think of as a kid you know like doing this crazy stuff and thanks to all these crazy people we made a crazy thing happen and stoked doing a razor too that was badass for me for my kids I started this company Mad Will this brand means about never giving up on your dreams this was just an example for my kids to show them like when you have a crazy idea if you go about it the right way you can make it happen I think that was one of the sickest shots I've ever seen. Oh, yeah! 